Hi, in this video today we are validating the data that is present in the CSV file. For the purpose of this video, we will validate the email column. Our goal is to check for any null values in the email column and identify email IDs that don't match our predefined format. Let's start our rule creation in IceDQ. Let's create a new validation rule. Let's select the source connection for the file. The file we are working with is a delimited file. I've selected the same file that was previously shown. We'll set the column delimiter as a comma. And the row delimiter as a new line character. Our CSV has a header and setting header row number to 1. Let's look at the schema of the file and the data of the file. The column we're interested in is the email column. We'll add a check to verify the email pattern and ensure it aligns with our expected format. We have a list of patterns to choose from. For our testing we need the email format. Let's save the check. Similarly, we can choose a custom format. Check to ensure that the email column doesn't contain any null values. We'll save this check as well. Let's add a source column customer. So that if any validation fail in the checks, we should know for which customer the validation are failing. We can see here the three checks that we have added. Let's publish this rule and execute the rule. The results show that out of 100 records, 5 records are failing the validations. We can investigate further by clicking on instance ID to determine the exact records and the checks they're failing. In this case, we can observe that these 5 records are failing because their patterns don't match our expectations. However, there are no failures related to null values. With IceTQ Automate Data Migration Testing, ETL and Big Data Testing, BI Report Testing, and Production Data Monitoring, get IceTQ today.